a song that quotes Skip James is a okay with me. Um, he is a he is a mighty good leader, and he has been leading me in the past day or so, in the couple of days, through the books that I'm reading and the scriptures he's guided me to to uh, to to an abundance of joy, to seek an abundance of joy, and helping me guiding me to, towards his nature and towards a more joyous fulfillment of my nature, my intended nature, and my new nature, my transformed nature, and this, again, the rehearsal for departure that uh, he's playing with uh, on this earth, that I might be a, a joyful and well-directed uh, actor in his grand, in the grand design of the, you know, the coolest and most elaborate play uh, ever put on in the history of history, and even the history of prehistory and post-history and non-history. Uh, let's start with a psalm, because psalms are cool. That's RT in the background. I probably totally was being loud and disrupting her own devotion. Uh-oh, I uh, hope she's not mad. Um, psalm 20... <laughs> she punched me in the back of the head, but it was very light. Uh, psalm 2510. All the paths of the Lord are loving kindness and truth to those who keep his covenant. Now, I tried to read that with a softer tone, because it's one of those ones you could totally like read and be like, da, 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 da. All the paths of the Lord are loving kindness and truth to those who keep his covenant. Um, but they are those. <laughs> it is that, and it is joyful and loving. And my quest is to seek joy, to seek joy unashamedly and not... Uh, you know, for the longest time, it was so easy, or not easy, it was hard, but it was a joy to seek difficulty and uh, love because he commands us to, and that's what love is. Um, and love is a choice, not a feeling. Now, it's both, to be perfectly honest, um, or and it certainly involves both. And so I was trying to look at more specifically, more and more and more, what God says about what love is. Uh, I know it's altogether, uh-oh, imperative. <laughs> and it's kind of the transforming vehicle uh, for for his covenant with us. Again, his covenant was in love, you know, was the, even our mire and our, the morass of human existence is, is there to illuminate the, the brilliance, the bright light of love. So I was reading a couple other things and let me, let me read those. Here's a classic. And it's a beautiful one. First uh, Corinthians 13. Um, where should I start? Let's start at the beginning. Let's begin as the beginning. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Man, envy, how hard is that one? Sometimes I find that one of the hardest ones. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will fail. Where there are tongues, they will cease. Where there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. And again, we could go ahead and reference the John 3.16, for God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son. That the, the darkness and the, and the so again, the morass and the mire that we've chosen, and we so often choose for ourselves. I certainly know I do. I, I, uh, I glee in choosing my own uh, understanding. Even in interpreting God's word, again, be like, okay, well, he says to do good, so we've got to do good just for good's sake, so through no benefit to myself. But God, God recognizes joy, and he, he sees, we all have seen the beauty of, of what love can do in our life, whether it be interpersonal, whether it be, but not even so much how, sometimes how we are loved, but also how we, are, we give love. And when you, you give love, and it's not returned, you get a, I, I feel like genuinely, you get a little bit of vision of, of what God's love is like, because how... And he says, okay, so I so love the world that I offer the world this conduit through which they can be transformed by my grace, by my power, by my love. I'm God. I create anything. I'm completely satisfied and joyful and full of joy uh, and happiness in and of myself. Come, sup from this. I'm the wellspring of love. Come, take, accept my love. There's no... That, that's your, my pursuit. That is my, self, my new, uh, exciting, hedonistic, selfish pursuit. To pursue God's love. And to just sup upon it so much that it flows from me. You know? And that's what I'm trying to do uh, a lot of my life. But I want, to re I want to renew it. I want to renew it every day. And I want it to be so it doesn't get mired down again in my own understanding in that darkness. You know? But remains in his light of just giving giving and giving freely. And people can still turn from what you give them. I have uh, tried to help people and tried to love people and they've been like, me. And then I get like frustrated. But you know what? That's not, that's not completely the purpose. Of course your heart will be sorrowed by that, you know? I truly believe God's heart is sorrowed by those who are like, hmm, thanks God for the love thing, but I think I'll figure it out. You know? That's a, there's got to be some sorrow there. But that's not why he, he gave it. He gave it from love because he got, you know, that's why I say God is love. And God is genuine love. You know what I mean? Because genuine love, we've all experienced that too. We've experienced the, hey, you're great. You're love. Let's just love the crap out of each other, man. And that's awesome. But how much greater is love based in truth, you know? So love doesn't simply love and support everything that you do all the time. Like you're, let's, let's use a, a loving parent as an example, you know? Uh, like a parent who loves their child and just thinks everything they do is fantastic. Like, kids aren't don't grow up that great. They don't. Like, you know, we need, uh, just like animals, we need some alpha doggage. And we need some truth, you know? So if everything you do from, you know, uh, uh, making macaroni art to biting your cousin's navel until it bleeds and that's all joyous and good, that's that's not love, you know? To be like, hmm, you know, I really get a lot of satisfaction from punching all my friends in the face. They don't really seem to like it, but, you know, hey, love it. No, there's a, there's a, there's a, a beauty and a truth in genuine love, in wanting nothing. And I don't know, I've, been, I've had it a little bit this past couple weeks because I've been focusing on it for, and how much joy to get from loving completely someone else and wanting not only just their temporary joy, actually not wanting their temporary joy, but wanting just the fullness of, of like just eternal beauty joy, you know? And not only those that we love, again, who will love us back, but, uh, 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 um, but here, but love, Christ says this, but love your enemies, do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the unthank unthankful and evil. Therefore, be merciful, just as your Father also is merciful. That is my pursuit. And that is not my pursuit just merely because it's good, but because I want. I want joy. I want joy, I want eternal reward, and I want to be a joy to others. I want to give joy and get, and, and get joy and uh, just be part of that continuum of the creator of the universe in his loving kindness and truth. Um, yes, please. Pursuit, does that reward me? Yes, it does. It rewards me divinely. Down for that. <laughs>